So here I am with the K7 TMG HF thermometer out on my balcony, so you'll hear a little bit of ambient background noise too. Let me quickly point out to you, um, we got a, I've got my Elecraft K2 in the background just out of the frame, uh, tuned to the uh, beacon frequency too. So here it is, where's, here's my finger, there's the... Um, there's the LM335 temperature sensor, which outputs an analog voltage, which um, which is proportional, or it's dependent, yes, proportional to the temperature, uh, sends it to the one of the analog inputs of this AT Tiny 85 microcontroller, which magically determines the temperature, converts it to Morse code, and over the, see that sort of red wire here, it keys the positive supply line of this crystal oscillator. See the crystal? <laughs> 23C. 73F. 23 degrees centigrade, 20, uh, 73 degrees Fahrenheit. God, nice, lovely weather out here. Um, so what was I saying? I've forgotten what I was saying now. It keys this oscillator. There's the crystal. There's the trim cap. Behind the trim cap, you can see the, uh, the molded choke. And uh, the transistor, which I think is a 2N3904, but a 2N2222 or any general purpose NPN silicon transistor would probably work great. Uh, there's no antenna at all. And what I think is great about the circuit is it's, it's, it's just an oscillator being keyed directly. So there's no, no back wave, no back wave at all. So if you're using it in close proximity to the receiver, you won't hear any back wave, which is great. And it's also fantastic for the current consumption um, because... The oscillator draws about three milliamps uh, when keyed down on key down. Da, da. 22C. 72 degrees Fahrenheit. I guess the temperature is changing just a little bit, or, or maybe the unit's settling down a little bit. Um, what was I saying? Yes, on key down, the oscillator draws about three milliamps. The microcontroller draws almost nothing. Now I'm not sure if Sholto's code puts the microcontroller into sleep mode when it's not reading the temperature or keying the oscillator, uh, but even if it doesn't, uh, in active mode it draws about a quarter of a milliamp or less, and in, if it's in sleep mode it draws even less than that. So either way it doesn't draw very much current at all. The big, the, the big offender in, in the, the current draw stakes um, here is this thing here, the 78L05 voltage regulator, which has a quiescent current of a massive 4 milliamps, which really isn't much at all, is it? But in the big, but uh, of course, with this, uh, it's quite a large part of the current draw of this entire circuit, which doesn't draw much at all. I mean, it, oh, here we go. Twenty-three C, and it's settled at twenty-three C and seventy-three degrees Fahrenheit. Yes, in the big scheme of things, it's not very many milliamps anyway, is, is it? Because even with that. Um, voltage regulator and its quiescent current of 4 milliamps, the average current consumption of the whole thing is probably about 5 milliamps. Um, so anyway, this has inspired me for my next project. I think what I might do, I like this little circuit, what I think I might do is create a hyper beacon on the 13.5 mega megahertz band, and what I'm going to do is build the circuit again, but without this temperature sensor and associated components. And then I will program a microcontroller just to output an ID, a call sign or an ID, which will be sent constantly, repetitively. And uh, then I'll build a little low-pass filter here to filter out the harmonics so it can feed an antenna. And I think it's going to be... 22C. 72F. Can't quite make its mind up what the temperature is. But then I think it'll make a fantastic little beacon. Um, it really will. And uh, yes, so actually, if it were a beacon and not a temperature sensor, if I wanted to, I could get rid of the voltage regulator and power it from, say, a LiPoly uh, battery, because at 3.7 to 4.2 volts, the voltage would never go high enough to fry the microcontroller. But I've got a feeling I'll leave the voltage regulator in and then power it from a solar panel only. Anyway, that's that's another project. That's it. That's the K7TMG temperature sensor. I hope you like it. I, I think it's wonderful. Thank you very much, Sholto, for your wonderful code and, and beautifully simple circuits. And before we go, 
I've just noticed that my neighbour's cat, you know, let me refocus the camera, my neighbour's cat Boris is in the window. Hi Boris. Hello Boris. I might name the next beacon after Boris. I might, might call it a Boris beacon because I think Boris is a lovely cat. Twenty two C and seventy two Fahrenheit again, a lovely balmy afternoon here in Oakland, California. Hi Boris, I'm with Boris the Kitty. Thanks for watching.